Hey everybody, I am back. It's Mommy Wata. I hope you all are doing good at this time. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, that bell button, and that thumbs up button for me, please, and thank you. And let's go ahead and hop right into the message at this time. Holy Spirit, what is the message for my collective? Please and thank you. We are thankful for all the messages that you have given us thus far holy spirit but what is the current message at this time what is it that you would like for us to know please and thank you i am just a messenger holy spirit i do not know the who what when where why and how but i know that you will reveal it through me holy spirit at this time so what is it that you would like for us to know we have the three of pentacles something being revealed Something being revealed, something is being revealed, possibly in court. Some action that someone took out of anger, a queen of cups, okay? And I feel like this has been put on hold for some time. Her, her antics, her actions, like She's been able to bide her time, but time is running out with this temperance card here. I just feel like time has run out. Something like that here is time for the scales to be balanced in this situation. It's a court situation, but it's something about the actions of this Queen of Cups. Something that she did out of anger, out of jealousy, possibly envy as well. Okay, that she didn't think was going to get her caught up with this page of pentacles, but this woman is currently in the nine of wands here. It's something with court. I don't know if they're gonna move her on to calmer waters with this six of swords to three of wands. This, this woman may be forced to move on, move away. Maybe somebody got a restraining order on her here that she has to keep her distance. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But it, she definitely got, it was an order in the court today. Or whenever this is, take what resonates, leave what does not. This is for somebody, though. Okay? There was a Queen of Cups who may have even been taking this Knight of Swords, Five of Swords action against you. And it's been revealed in court. Look, Seven of Wands. And then we got the King of Cups. So you could be this King of Cups or you could be a third party outside of this King and Queen of Cups. Okay. But it's something about a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups having some type of challenges or battles in court. And this King of Cups has exposed the Knight of Swords action of this Queen of Cups. Clarify Holy Spirit to this Emperor energy and he may be granting this King of Cups, look, Eight of Swords, she might be going to jail, child. Five of Pentacles right behind that. Eight of Swords falling right up under this Queen of Cups. Five of Pentacles falling right up underneath this Eight of Pentacles because it's obvious that some rehabilitation is needed here of some kind. People don't think that jail is rehabilitative. But baby, if your ass got to go and sit down and do any time in a jail cell and you used to being free to do whatever the fuck you want to do, that should wake your ass up to a little something, something. Maybe not for all people, but hell, I know it woke my ass the fuck up, okay? Back then, back in the day, whenever I've had to learn that particular lesson, okay? So I'm really picking up a Queen of Cups is about to have to learn a lesson about some action that she was taking. Can I get more insight on this Queen of Cups, Holy Spirit? Four of Pentacles. This woman is about to experience some misfortune and loss. She and the Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, this woman may be getting arrested with this King of Swords. Ooh, and the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Because I'm telling you, with this temperance energy here, I feel like they've been giving her a chance. Like she's received warnings from this emperor. She's been told to stop whatever she was doing because they were having some type of court challenge. So any outside action that she was taking towards this King of Cups was a violation of some kind here, I'm hearing. 
Like with this Four of Cups, like someone has tried to give her an opportunity and she refused to take it. She refused her to turn her back to however she felt about this King of Cups. And she was being watched. She was being observed by this emperor, possibly. He may have had somebody observing this Queen of Cups, okay? What was going on between this King, king and Queen of Cups, Holy Spirit? Two of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. This man, not this man. Six of Wands, Ten of Swords. This man may have been married to this Queen of Cups. Okay. Three of Swords on the bottom. This man was married. This man was in some type of commitment, legal commitment with this Queen of Cups. Okay. And she hoped that because she had got him into some type of legal commitment that this situation would be balanced in her favor. But it's come to an end. She she has played herself somehow. Something that this woman did that she had been warned to stop doing, but she kept fucking doing it. She had been warned to stop doing it. I'm really picking that up with this temperance energy. Like they were trying to work with her because the temperance card can mean you finally deciding to balance the situation, even though it should have been balanced. You've been buying your time. You've been holding out, trying to give motherfuckers a shot. Okay. And I'm really hearing that. Like they tried to give this queen of cups a shot, shot to stop doing whatever this was with this knight of swords, but she wouldn't stop doing it. So now she in the 10 of swords, the three of swords, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the five, excuse me, that Five of Swords speaks to her, this action that she was relentless to take, this Five of Swords and this Nine of Wands. But she most definitely is in the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, okay? Because somebody told her to stop, and she wouldn't listen. What else, Holy Spirit? And he was committed to her, but that has come to an end. Queen of Pentacles then flew out here. I'm telling you, he was committed to this woman. This is someone that had a legal commitment. So if they went and got a marriage license, that's a legal commitment. Okay? Somebody need to hear that. Okay? And it must have been about the money. Y'all hear that? Money, okay, money. I'm telling you, it was some treachery and deceit going on with this right here. That's why she flipping out so bad. Because she finna take a loss. They might have been fighting over money in court, clarify. But she played herself and she was continuing to take action towards this man. Look, head in the clouds type energy. This woman had some wishful thinking regarding this man's abundance. I'm hearing that. And this is what she's been challenging him in court for her wishes to come true. But this King of Swords is given investigator like a PI, somebody who was in this page of Swords energy for this emperor. Okay, I do feel like something happening with this woman criminal wise. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm picking it up. We ain't got to keep talking about it. But somebody saw what she was doing. And all of this is, is primarily centered around a check, a pentacle. She wants this man to be able to have to continue to give to and receive from her somehow. Pri primarily giving to her. Okay, she's being very persistent in the courtroom so again if you are battling somebody in court you should not be behind the scenes contacting them threatening them stalking them antagonizing them 
even trying to get back with them at times. Clarify what I'm picking up on, Holy Spirit. Son, child, I cannot make it up. 10, 10 on the clock when you know it's already over with. How you trying to get back with somebody you got in court? Trying to get their money. Clarify, Holy Spirit. This woman may have Leo in her chart somewhere prominently. Four swords. That's been laid to rest. That man ain't finna hook back up with you. That man can't foresee no future with him when you literally trying to catch him up in court with this hangman energy. This man trying to break free child and take his money with him. And I do see another card right here on the bottom, but I'm just not going to pull it out. Holy Spirit, I just want you to clarify. Is this masculine? Because see, he in the Ten of Pentacles. So what does Ten of Pentacles mean, Holy Spirit? Cutting the deck. Holy Spirit, what does this Ten of Pentacles mean to this, this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Five of Cups? A, a partnership that he's in regret about. Someone he wants to reconnect with, with this Six of Cups here. Okay, but he may not be able to do so or he's unsure how to do this here. I don't think people be thinking hard enough. Because if there's a will, baby, there is a way. So don't be pessimistic. Be optimistic. Okay, as long as you keep your head to the sky. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. You can win. Okay, so that's a message for this divine masculine here. Continue to be optimistic that you will be able to reconnect with whoever this Six of Cups energy is that you wish you would, who you got an Ace of Cups for. Okay, but you did leave them behind because you thought somebody else was your ideal love choice. But you realize now that they are your ideal love choice, okay? And that person who you thought was your ideal love choice was really a karmic, okay? So, you have to be optimistic that, you know, God hasn't fully passed judgment on the situation between you and this Six of Cups, Ace of Cups here, and that maybe one day y'all will be able to celebrate together. Okay, but like I said, if there's a will, there's a way with this hermit card. So maybe the way that this masculine will be able to reconnect with this true ideal love choice is if he actually does some soul searching and healing himself so that he'll be in the right energy to get with the Six of Cups or even ask for her assistance in learning how to heal, I'm here. Because this man been through a lot with this Queen of Cups here. Clarify. Seven. Yep. Seven of Pentacles. He may need your assistance if you are the Six of Cups listening. You could possibly be a Queen of Sword. No. <laughs> I was just about. I don't know. Because as soon as I was about to say something about this Queen of Swords, when I saw it, I saw this Eight of Cups came out right behind it. This man may need some guidance after cutting off this other woman. I feel like this Queen of Cups is this Queen of Swords that he's Eight of Cups in. And this could also be if this, this man not being sure if you will accept his offer because of how he treated you and how he left you behind. This could also be that. You could also be this Queen of Swords, Six of Cups. Because this man is not sure how you will respond to him trying to return to you. So this could, I think the Six of Cups is this Queen of Swords, okay? So you were dealing with a divine masculine who chose to legally commit to another woman and they are in court currently battling it out, looks like. If I'm talking to this Queen of Swords, I don't know who listening. I couldn't tell you, okay? But he is breaking that commitment legally. He is severing the ties with this Queen of Cups. She's even been doing some karmic things 
that may have gotten her caught up criminally, but that's neither here nor there. This masculine is hoping that you will be able to teach him. That's what this queen of swords also talks about. He's hoping that you'll be willing to invest in him and teach him how to heal, how to get on the right path when it comes to his spiritual journey, okay? But he's concerned because he did eight of cups you in the past. But I do feel like you are going to give him an opportunity. You are going to give him a shot to help lead him down the right path if he's willing to do the work. We have the high priestess. You do have that knowledge. He, he believes that. He believes you have the knowledge that he needs in order to heal himself and recover from this karmic situation he was in. And I believe you do have that knowledge as well. Okay? You coming out as this queen of swords and this high priestess. You are very knowledgeable. You also are very intuitive. And some is telling me that you told this person that this queen of cups was going to behave this way. You told this man that this woman was going to behave this way. The knight of wands is falling right up underneath the devil. Okay. But he didn't believe you. This is why he wants your guidance even more. And I picked up on something like this a couple of weeks ago. But the masculine, the um, feminine, excuse me, she wasn't invested anymore in that, in that masculine. He was going to have to take that spiritual journey on his own. But I feel like this queen of swords high priestess is willing to give this, this particular divine masculine a shot the world i feel like she's going to help him transform his life to have success in his life now that he's decided to end that karmic cycle for good i do so this ain't that situation this is someone who has faith in this divine masculine and i believe that he will make the changes needed Ooh, child eight of eight of pentacles then came out here now he will make the, the changes needed because, first of all, he knows he's supposed to be celebrating with you, Queen of Swords. Second of all, he want to do the work. He want to be better. This somebody who want to be better. They have been through enough hell on earth with this other individual to know that they need to do better. And this is what this person is going to do. Okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Any final messages? Seven of Swords. Who is in this Seven of Swords energy? This Queen of Wands, this Queen of Cups is no longer going to be this masculine's partner. She's going to be free. When he get a, when they get a divorce, they both going to be single. He came out as this King of Wands. She came out as this Queen of Wands. But she going to be in this Seven of Swords energy for a time, I'm feeling. Even though she is in some trouble okay look the moon right behind her with the five of wands and the two of cups lord jesus help it help it jesus lord this don't make no sense i don't get it i don't get it i don't get why people don't know how to let go you in criminal trouble and you still won't go let go okay that's what I'm seeing here. She's still going to be trying it. But y'all are fated to be together. And eventually she's going to have to ten of wands this continuous action that she keeps trying to take against this man and possibly against y'all connection, okay? Because y'all are fated to be in this two of cups connection. And you are going to help him. He is going to receive good news from you about this connection and y'all will have justice and a commitment because you are his empress okay and i'm dropping the mic oh and you're going to accept his apology as well okay <laughs> okay so you know they can try it all day that's all i can say you see what the will of fortune is fated to be what the what the outcome is fated to be 
This is y'all karma to help each other. You are going to help this man complete his spiritual journey. And he's going to be a willing per participant, okay? You ain't finna be forcing nobody to do nothing, but you are going to help guide him. And sometimes we do need a spiritual guide, okay? You can't force someone to be your spiritual guide, okay? You cannot force someone to be your spiritual guide. You cannot force someone to, you can't dump all of your problems and your issues on someone, okay? And force them to give you advice or force them to take on your situation and your circumstances. Y'all got to stop doing that. Okay. Some people are really bad about that. If you need to unearth something, if you need guidance, if you need clarity, you need to get a counselor. Okay. But this man knows that he has a particular mission with this divine feminine. This Queen of Swords, High Priestess, Empress here. This Queen of Swords, who has the truth and clarity, the knowledge, 2112, his twin flame, possibly. This is a divine counterpart of some kind. This man knows this woman will guide him down the right path. And she's willing to do that. She has accept, She will accept this page of cups from him. Okay? But you cannot force anyone to... You can't force your problems on people, y'all. We can't. We gotta stop doing that. Okay, I'm hearing that, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.